Hey guys, it's Taisha. Welcome back to my channel. So today's video, I wanted to do like a mini vlog and an Ulta haul all together because, I don't know, I feel like this will be more interesting than just me sitting down and showing you guys stuff, you know? So I wanted to take you guys along with me throughout my day and show you guys what I actually do. Today, I have no idea what day it is. All I know is that I slept in because I did not have any class. I, I feel like I lost track of time. Monday is a Friday, Friday is a Tuesday, like, you know, like, I don't even know. Um, but yeah, today I had no class online, of course, so I decided to slip in, and I woke up at 11, and it feels so good, you guys. Uh, my skin woke up super, super dry, like, right here, so I need to go and show you guys my morning routine even though sometimes i don't do anything in the mornings you guys i'm gonna be super honest some days i get too lazy and i don't do anything so yeah i'll probably do that with you guys and then i'll do some homework just to catch up on things and not fall behind the thing with college you cannot fall behind even though i'm not doing anything i still procrastinate i think that's the word even if I'm not doing anything, I still do not want to do homework, so I have to like push myself so I don't turn it in like an hour before because I have definitely done that and it's not fun. So this is what I use in the morning and even at night. It's the Pixie um, Glow Tonic. It's one of my favorite ones. But you guys, this lotion right here, I should have put it last night because my skin, no wonder my skin woke up dry. So this is what I use. This is the Kors Ultimate Nourishing Rise Overnight Spa Mask. That's what it looks like. So this, I put it at night and then my skin wakes up super smooth and super soft. This is amazing. I highly recommend it. I did a favorites video and I forgot to include this. So yeah, I'll show you guys like some stuff I use. Um, I also use this to remove my cleanser. I guess this is called double cleansing or something like that. So I use this. Then I met you, and then I take it off with this because then my eyes like get all blind, you know, blurred. So that's what I use, and I've started to use this little spinner brush because they sent it to me. This is the Duval spinner brush, so I've been using that lately, and it's been making my skin super soft, and I feel like it actually removes all my makeup. So yeah, no wonder I forgot to put lotion last night, which is why my skin is so dry today, or only right here. The rest is oily as hell. So I'm gonna go ahead and add my glow tonic just today. Like I said, not all the time I do this. And then we'll see. What I've been using glow tonic, you guys. I still had makeup on. Uh, I've been using glow tonic for a really long time. And I love it. You see? It just makes your skin glow. And it feels clean and refreshing. Look how dirty my skin was. What the hell? Alright guys, so I have right here my school stuff that I have to work on. I have to write a little like short essay. Usually I'm really good at writing essays. I don't find them that hard. So yeah, an essay I can do it. I even won you guys a competition. Really qu um, quick story. I won a competition... I think it was in fourth grade of like writing like an essay in English, which is crazy because that's not even my first language. And like, I don't know, but I feel like like writing essays is not that hard for me. I'd rather do that than math. I hate math. I can't do math. But I'm a business degree, so I kind of like have to know math. So I'm going to go ahead and finish this and then we'll start getting ready together. Guys, so I went ahead and got ready. Well, you know what I mean. Got ready to be at home. Um, but this is what I'm wearing, you guys. These shorts are from Laura's Boutique. They're her little like biker shorts. I never thought I would like biker shorts, but you know, when you're at home, they're so comfortable and perfect to wear. So that's what I'm wearing. And then I'm wearing this little top from um, OOTD Fash. I never, you guys, wear tops that have like designs and stuff. But I wanted to wear this one. Or when I saw it, I knew I had to order it because it's so cute. And I'm wearing it with the little black bra underneath it because it is see-through. So that is my OOTD for today. Um, I do want to film a spring clothing haul, you guys. Because I have a lot of cute clothes to show you guys. So let me know 
you guys are interested on that and I'll make sure and do it but yeah guys and I also did curl my hair in case you guys are wondering how I curl my hair I'll have it in my Instagram page you guys can go to the hair part and that's just how I do it but I think I'm gonna put it up because I'm kind of tired of just having it down but we'll see I'm gonna go ahead and start to do my makeup I think I'm gonna do my hair like in two little buns like I did last time so all I do you guys is just twist my hair like this because I don't know how to do braids like I can do braids but I'm not that good at them and then I just twist my hair and that's it this side is super easy for me the other side though it's so hard let me see oh no I already can feel it this side it's not cute so I always do some hair in the front I think that's cute, right? I'm gonna leave it like that and then I'll put some hoop earrings um, Because this one's I used them already a lot. So I'm not gonna use this ones today I'll put some hoops when I find them. So let's go ahead and do my makeup I'm just gonna do something simple What should I do today? I think I'm just gonna do like a wing liner Yeah, something really simple I like doing this way better because I use way less product. You guys, I'm gonna eat Puerto Rican food today. I am so hungry. I've been eating nuggets and stuff this whole week because that's all there is in the grocery store. And then I go ahead and I start filling my brows in. So this way I noticed that you use way less product, you guys, which is amazing and it just works better i also remember that a lot of you guys wanted to know about my turmeric mask that i told you guys about on my hygiene routine so it's not like a mask a mask that i do it's that i buy it from asian cosmetics and it's a turmeric face watch and that's what helped me a lot with my breakouts so i brush everything like the top of my brow with this brush right here I feel like they look a little crooked. I'll fix them right now. So I use the AOA Studio E113. I use a lot of their brushes, you guys, because they're super good and super affordable. So yeah, that's what I use. And then to fix my brows sometimes, I just go with more concealer. My brows is like mostly concealer and not that much product because back in the day, girl, I used to use like the whole brow pencil and nobody told me anything. And you guys, I am going to do the Shop Miss A video. I'm just waiting on their new foundation. I ordered online. It claims to be like a full coverage foundation. And I want to see if it's really full coverage and long wearing. So I'm just waiting for that. Unless you guys just want me to do a separate video on that, then I'll do it. Or should I just wait? I think I should just wait and just do the whole thing. Like the whole new things in one video, you know? So it is taking a while to come here i think it's gonna take one more week and then everything should be here because of course the whole situation that's going on the world you know there's more important things to get delivered than my foundation so i figured out what i want to do for my makeup today i'm going to be taking the huda beauty eyeshadow i love this because it has like super easy look i'll show you this is in the color cashmere rope so i'm gonna put this here I just do little three dots have you guys been doing your makeup please let me know in the comments below i've been doing it a lot lately and just been using everything that i own you know and yeah just enjoying my time at home as much as i can um it has been a difficult couple of weeks you guys it's just been crazy and i know you guys feel the same way but just doing my makeup has been helping me relax, you know, and just think about something else. Because when I watch the news for too long, like, I get super sad and super down. I'm just blending it out with the little fluffy brush. It's just super, super simple to create makeup looks with this. And there you guys go. We have one eye done. Now I'm going to go ahead and do the other one and apply some lashes. I do have a discount code, you guys, for today's lashes. I'm going to be taking this one's from KMYNX. This is in the style H27, my favorite ones so far. Um, and I do have a discount code. They gave me one. So you guys can use Taisha at checkout for money off. It is a commission um, little like discount code. So if you guys purchase it using my code, I do make some 
like you know cash on the side it's not a lot but still just want to be honest with you guys so yeah thank you so much if you guys decide to use my discount codes it helps a bit out you know you know what guys i think i'm gonna go with this one from mac this is gingerly yeah i feel like this one is perfect this used to be like my favorite blush it's still really good i really like it this is gingerly by mac and then when i'm not doing like the makeup with you guys i turn it off so i can really see how it looks like because yellow light will play you like it will literally play you you might think you look good and then bitch you step outside and nope i'm gonna go in with so i think i'm gonna go in with morphe bite me yeah i think that'll look good hopefully you guys are doing your makeup with me you know so we can get ready together i don't know where my sharpener's at oh here it is because i feel like all my lip liners are like not sharp enough there you go all right and then i'm gonna go in with either kylie cosmetics hazel or expose you like hazel might be a little bit too dark guys i love the scent of kylie cosmetics liquid lipsticks they are really drying so you have to be careful i don't remember expose being pink was expose always pink or did it change color right this is pink well in camera it looks like nude but look right i thought it was lighter what the hell maybe my taste on nude just changed all right you guys so here we have it here's the final makeup let me put you guys on the white light look hopefully it looks good i feel like my nose contour is a little bit too harsh but there we have it now let's go ahead and get to doing the try on haul why am i saying try on haul let's go ahead and do the ulta haul now and then we'll eat because personally me i have to get like all glam if not like i can't eat like i have to get myself together you know priorities and then i can go eat you know i just filmed a declutter video you guys so i'm trying my hardest to keep everything super clean you know and limpio though so everything is more manageable and i can use the products i own oh and then i almost forgot to apply setting spray i've been using this one from makeup forever it's bomb i love it it's really really good but you want to make sure you like really shake it. I feel like if I shake it too hard, my bun's gonna come off. And then I'll let it sit. And you guys, this is gonna make your skin look really blurry, like a face tune in real life. I really like it. The only bad thing is that it has like powder. So sometimes if you don't shake it good enough, you will have like white marks all over your face. And if you're taking pictures, one time I took like a flash picture and you could see the whole powder like all over my face. So try not to take pictures. And I'm putting everything. Do you guys remember this right here that I left it like all clean? Well, it's not clean anymore. Now I am putting everything I use right there. I just clean everything and put it there and close it and pretend like i have my life together all right guys so time to do our ulta haul i have everything right here this is all collective that stuff that i order the whole month of march you guys know ulta had like the 21 days of beauty so i did get some things i really didn't get that many stuff because i didn't need that many things so i'll show you guys what i got so here is my little box right here um everything of course was bought online so let's go ahead and see i got a lot of drugstore things so i'm gonna start talking to you guys about the mascara that i've been using because i actually bought it recently and i've been loving it and if you guys watch my videos you guys know this already but this is the essence lash princess mascara you guys this is so good it's what i'm using underneath the lower lashes today and it's just so good so intense so black and it lasts a long time it doesn't give you those little like dots right here that the Too Faced um, better than sex mascara does um so highly recommend this mascara if you haven't tried it yet it has to be this one the green one i think i tried another one from them before the purple one but i don't like it as much as i like this one i feel like this is definitely worth the five dollars so highly highly recommend this mascara 
so I have used that and then since we're talking about essence I also recently tried their blushes so this is the essence blush it's called the blush and this is in the color beloved so first I tried this one and I really really liked it it was you guys this is only three dollars like what only three dollars for a blush so I'm gonna apply a little bit here so you guys can see it's just such a pretty pink blush and they're pigmented they last a long time and they're everything you will want in a blush for only three dollars i highly recommend them you know if you don't want to spend too much money these are the best blushes for three dollars so i first tried the shade beloved and then i went ahead and ordered another shade in bespoke but this looked more like mac gingerly on online but seeing it in person, it does have some sheen. This one doesn't, right? No, this one is more matte. This one does have like some like glitter to it or just it's like a satin, more of that satin finish. And yeah, I don't think you guys are going to be able to see it, but it's not completely matte. And I really do like matte blushes because I have texture and it just makes me look crazy. So I don't like that. Keep trying this one though. Um, I'm doing a testing new drugstore makeup out super soon. So stay tuned for that. And um, yeah, I'll show you guys more in depth that. And then since I'm filming that video, I also order the Essence Matte Bronzing Powder. So it comes with four matte bronzers you guys the drugstore is really stepping it up um i feel like before you could not find a matte bronzer and this looks really really intense and pretty dark like these two colors are really dark which is great because i feel like the drugstore lacks a lot of shade range especially when it comes to bronzers so hopefully this turns out to be good uh it comes with a little mirror and this was only ten dollars and it looks good right it looks like it's gonna work out so i'll be testing this out with you guys in a video coming soon so i got that and last but not least for essence i also got this shine shine wet look lip gloss you guys have recommended me this lip gloss for a while i do have the nude color and i think i had this one but i lost it or something because i'm pretty sure i tried this before so this is what it looks like you guys essence is super inexpensive and it smells good these are really good lip glosses to have in your collection especially if you're a lip gloss type of girl and i also got a, another lash glue you guys already know i needed a new one the one i've been using currently is the aoa beauty one but i do love the kiss one because i do have allergic reaction to latex so anything needs to be latex free if not it's gonna burn the shit out of my eye so this is the kiss strip lash adhesive latex free glue my favorite one ever since high school you guys this is the best lash glue ever and let's see you guys it's not really a huge ulta haul oh um, yeah it's not but i still spend a lot of money so <laughs> let's see i have more drugstore things to show you guys i got this i love revolution powder because one of you guys wanted me to test it out because it reminds you of the what was it Too faced peach perfect powder that one's one of my favorite 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 one like powders ever so we will see if it's a dupe or not because this one's only seven dollars this is what it looks like you guys i thought this was gonna be a lot smaller but it's actually pretty big and they have different like flavors or scents scents they have different scents but this one is the one that hopefully it's a dupe for the peach one but that Too Faced powder you guys is really really good so we'll see if this can compare to it it has really cute packaging makeup revolution has really good makeup especially if you want dupes i feel like that's mostly what they do and yeah i'm excited to test this out it says it's a peach scented baking powder so let me know if you guys have tried this and let me know your opinion of this and of any other stuff i have showed you guys but i'll try this with you guys on that video that will be coming up soon like i said and then another drugstore i told you guys i'm always looking at new drugstore makeup i got this morphe setting spray i'm so excited because i needed a new one this is the morphe sweet peach by sweetie you guys i'm the worst when it comes to pronouncing things but this is in the scent peach and i love the packaging i need to do well i feel like the makeup tutorial i just did kind of reminds me of this 
but I feel like I can create this same makeup look with the Morphe Jaclyn Hill palette. I feel like, you know, the whole like summer vibes type of makeup look. But this is what it looks like. This was only $10 and every review said it smelled really good. So I'm about to smell it. This is what it looks like. It's like a mini um, setting spray from Morphe. This is one of the best setting sprays, you guys, if you want your makeup to look like you're not wearing that much powder. For me personally, this spray doesn't do much for long wearing makeup, just being honest. But let's see if it smells good. I'm kind of scared to spray it. Okay. It smells like peaches. Yeah, it smells like peaches. Okay, let me spray, let me spray it now. It smells like a Bath and Body Works sp like body spray, like a Bath and Body Works peach spray. I'm pretty sure they had that in the past because it reminds me of that. It smells really good, actually. It's not my favorite scent ever because I am low key like into vanilla only, but it smells good. It smells like peaches, and you guys will see my makeup. Well, you guys won't see it in, like in camera, but in person. When I spray it, it just makes my skin look less powdery. And then now, let me get into the 21 Days of Beauty. So I was going to get the Cover FX blushes that were on sale for $20. You guys know what I'm talking about. The monochromatic ones. But I ended up not getting them because I wanted to try this ones instead, you know. Which I'm glad I did because I don't need 200 blushes, you know. So I went with the more affordable side of them let me know in the comments below if you guys ended up picking anything for the 21 days of beauty but yeah i'll show you guys what i ended up getting i got two lip liners from matt they were only nine dollars you guys know i'm always on a budget here so when i saw this i was super super excited so this is the mac lip pencils and i got them in chestnut which is a really dark intense brown color and the famous color i finally have it after years this is the world pencil you guys this used to be like everything back in the day i think it was like in 2016 because kylie kylie jenner used to wear this lip liner all the time and i remember wanting it so bad but of course it's too expensive so i finally have it four years later i have it and i cannot wait to use it i feel like this is like my lips but better and then i'll show you guys chestnut i was surprised oh and then i saw that you guys told me Thank you so much, by the way, that you guys told me that the MAC powders were on sale and I went ahead and ordered that too, so. And then this is what chestnut looks like. This one, it is super intense, so I feel like if you have deeper skin tones, it's going to become your new go-to lip liner. So another thing that I got, you guys, is this primer. It's this Smith & Cold Black Drop Mattifying Face Primer. I got this for, I think it was $18 on sale. I should have used it today. Oh well um they say it's a really good primer when you have oily skin so i actually have never heard of this brand this is what it looks like this is my first time using this or like touching it i was also gonna buy the smashbox primer that was on sale but i don't know when i like i think i'm gonna buy something and then when it's like time to pay for it i'm like do i really need it you know i start like reconsidering everything this is black Oh, because of the shark girl. Oh, okay, it does feel really matte. I don't think this is going to be good to apply all over your face. So this is the last thing I got, you guys. I wanted to try a new body scrub because I love testing out things that claim to like brighten up your skin and just make it look more glowy. And this is exactly what this um, body scrub claims to do. I don't know, you guys. I just love like a good scrub and then lotion it just makes me feel so like clean and like glowy you know so this is is a scrub from down under for all over it is the a beauty scrub i have tried the original from this and i liked it but i didn't love it enough to keep buying it you know but i liked it but i didn't like love it to keep spending money on it so hopefully i like this one it does claim to brighten your skin it has eucalyptus and macadamia oil with that i love for my hair so i'm pretty sure i'm gonna like this for the body so yeah guys that is all for the ulta haul let me get a thumbnail i almost forgot to get a thumbnail all right so i have my food here i'm pretty sure i'm gonna eat it um in my living room 
so I can watch TV or something. Let me know of any good recommendations to watch. So I have right here my yuca. Look how good that looks, you guys. I actually know how to make really good yuca, like the Cuban recipe. I put, um, what do I put, yuca cubana, and that's when I find the other one, but this one's like the yellow one. I like the white one when it's like with garlic and white, but that one's still really good. And then this is my food, you guys. I have mofongo, arroz con gandule, and pollo, pollo al ajillo. So this is what everything looks like. You guys, tengo un hambre, que me como todo. I'm gonna put you guys right there. You guys can see my chichos. I'll just cover them up. But you guys, I usually eat my food with a Sprite, but we're out of Sprite and we have to eat it with um, 7-Up. And I feel like there's a huge difference. Yeah, this is so good. I'm not like a cute eater. When I eat, I eat. I can't be like those girls are like, mm-hmm, like all cute. No, not me. Well, I'm gonna go ahead and eat this with the seven up because we're out of them and I always like to have seven up and water on the side I don't know weird like that and a lot of ketchup you guys. I am a ketchup lover um, Is that weird? But some people find that weird that I eat my rice and my chicken with ketchup Is that just like a Puerto Rican thing or something? I don't know, but good I don't know you guys, but I'm gonna go ahead and enjoy my food. Thank you so much for hanging out with me for today's video. You guys, if you haven't tried Puerto Rican food, you have to. So I'm gonna go ahead, enjoy my meal, call it a day. Thank you so much for hanging out with me. Let me know if you guys wanna see more vlogs from me because I'll be glad to do them. I feel like like that you guys can get to know me more, you know, and see like little weird things about me because I'm actually like super weird. So yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and go. Have a beautiful, blessed day. I'm sending you lots of love your way and I'll see you guys on the next one. Bye guys.